Hi and welcome to the 8th JCU Library Top Tips video. Previously we learned how to get better results from Google. Now we will look at Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a search engine provided by Google to give a simple way to broadly search for scholarly literature. It allows us to easily search for articles, theses, books, legal cases, citations and other scholarly sources. These could be from academic publishers, professional societies, online repositories, universities and other websites. Google Scholar is available from the databases link on the library homepage. Accessing Google Scholar from the databases page link will ensure that you are correctly logged in to access full text resources that are held by the JCU library. We can search Google Scholar the same way we searched OneSearch by typing in all our keywords. Don't forget to use quotation marks to identify phrases. However, we do not need to put in the truncation symbol as Google searches for word variants automatically. Now we're doing the same search that we did in OneSearch. Once we have our results, we can also narrow the publication date using the left menu. Each item in the results list contains links to useful data. Two that are very useful are the cited by and related articles links. The cited by link will show a list of newer articles that include the first article in the reference list. The related articles link will give us more articles on the topic of the first article. To the right of each result, there is a link to the full text of the article if it's available from JCU Libraries or some other open access source. If there is no link, click on the title of the result to see if full text may be available from the main site. We can also click on the All Versions link to see if there may be another version that is accessible. Note that some articles will not be available through JCU. If you need any help, please get in touch. To find out how, click on Get Help on the Library homepage. You can use Library FAQs to answer some common questions, use the chat service during library opening hours, use the Info Help contact form, or phone the library for more assistance. Next, we will learn more about how to evaluate the appropriateness of the information we have found.